How many times have you been in a box with an opponent and needed to get out quick? But it's an awkward angle. The more and more that you practice this, the better the outcome you're gonna be when you're in those situations. What's going on, guys? This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Yo, man, I'm so hyped, man, to inspire you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life, man. You can do it. I don't care what is standing before you, what obstacles, what mountains, you know, what things are just before you that you say, man, I will never be able to do that. I'm telling you right now, your motivation guy is saying you can do it, so you can do it, man. Keep going, never surrender. Today, we're gonna be going over some tips on how to improve your mechanics in Fortnite. So hyped about this. Now, I want to say this from the very beginning. You need to understand that your mechanics in Fortnite isn't just how good you are at building and high ground retakes. No, 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 no. We're talking about ways to improve your gameplay as a whole, man. We're going to be talking about the psychological effects in game, okay? The best kind of research that you can do and the best practice methods for you to improve your mechanics. You guys know what it's like with us, right? We want to upload top tier guide videos on different aspects of Fortnite. That's just what we do here at Pro Guys, man. So you guys watch the videos and you take it all in, but watching the videos isn't always enough. It really, really isn't, unfortunately. You will go into a game online and attempt something you may have seen us cover and completely mess it up. Trust me, I've been there, I know. So we're not gonna sugarcoat it, you know, because this happens, it really, really does. That's why in today's video, we're gonna explain how to improve your mechanics and show you the proper ways to implement new techniques into your gameplay. So you can actually really do this for real in your own games and you're gonna see improvement. Who's ready to improve? I am, let's grind, man. The grind never stops. We're trying to be the best, not only in this game, but also in life, my friends. And it's about that time, bunch of crunch army. Where you at? Here we go. It's time to sit back. Relax and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. Let's get this going. Let's break this down in order of how it's going to happen to you guys for you to best understand and really relate to it, all right? So, okay, so let's say, pro guys, we upload a new video and you're already subbed with notifications on. <laughs> Shout out to my notification gang out there, here we go. So you see something in the video that you wanna work on, right? And you implement it into your own gameplay. So the first thing that you wanna do before you launch Fortnite is to take a note of the tip. You can do this by writing it down. I know, I hope people still know how to write these days, okay? Uh, or, you know, put it in your phone or notepad, explain what the technique is and how to do it. If you're going to write it down, okay, in your phone, we recommend copying the link of the video and pasting it with the timestamp of the technique so that you can watch it back. Got it? The overall goal with these is really just to convert this new technique that you are seeing for the first time into muscle memory so that you can complete it with ease, man. In the short term, this is gonna be difficult because it's something new. Everything new at first is usually difficult, right? So don't lose your motivation. Your motivation guy is here, inspiring you guys to be great, so keep going. Think about the first time that you tried to complete a 90. You probably were horrible. I know I was horrible, but look at you now, man. You're killing it. You complete it with ease now, and you probably don't even give it a second thought anymore. This could be the same as any technique in the game as long as you can do the proper steps to get there, which we're gonna go over today. Here we go. If you guys want to stay up to date with the latest meta changes and build techniques, head on over to ProGuys.com, where we have a range of services from play with pros to online courses, which aim to perfect, you know, certain aspects of your game. Link is in the description. Final point I think is so important to make before we move on is that you need to make sure you understand the technique that you're practicing. It's all well and good thinking the move is worth learning and how it looks really good, but understanding what makes it good and when to implement it is really, really important, man. To do this, you can watch pro players just implement it and do it in their own gameplay and really watch how they do it for maximum efficiency, okay? We're gonna come back to this point later in the video, so stick around for that, okay? Now, we've covered the first steps. Let's jump into some tips on how to improve your mechanics. Here we go. First way is to practice with repetition. That means you gotta do it over again and over again and over again. <laughs> Practicing with repetition is when you complete a technique that you're looking to master and you just continue to do it in large sets, all right? By large sets, we mean a lot of repetitions of the same technique. The reason this is really, really effective is because 
It really just helps build muscle memory. And when you complete it over and over again, you're able to just self-correct the technique. Now, you need to make sure guys that you're paying attention when completing these builds because self-correcting is really the most important part of your training. And if you do not do this properly, then you're not gonna really see any improvement. If you realize your timing is wrong when you place a certain build, then it is you self-correcting to ensure when you actually do this technique online, you don't mess it up. And that's really the ultimate goal. Now, you guys may think this is similar to free building, and unfortunately, it's really not. Look, I'm not knocking free building in any way. In fact, we do think it's a great warm up to do at the start of your gaming session, just to warm up your hands and mechanics, really. The problem you face though with free building is that you complete one move and then, you know, you move on. Free building is more in this kind of like impulsive, you kind of improvise, you know, more than you complete specific techniques. This is why it, it isn't as effective, you know, as training as we would only recommend free building as a warm up. So if free building is an effective training, then what's the best way to practice with repetition? Good question. Well, truth be told, there are many, many different ways. All right, so you can load into a completely blank creative map and start practicing the techniques that you wanna master, right? Let's take tunneling as an example. Being able to complete a full tunnel, which has complete cover with a wall on each side, a floor and a roof. This is something that you can do on and on in an empty creative map. First, start off slow and just figure out your timings and crosshair placement for your build pieces, okay? Once you have done it a few times, look to self-correct any areas that may need it. When self-correcting, look to improve aspects, okay? Like your timing, placements of build pieces, and crosshair placement. These are just a few examples of areas that you may need, you know, to put attention to. But, you know, when you're practicing, you're gonna realize what you need to do. What if a creative map with context is more your thing? All right, we got you covered, here we go. Now, there are plenty of practice and warm-up maps out there. And all you really gotta do is a really a quick Google search and you can just find hundreds. We have done you guys a massive favor and we selected what we consider one of the best maps to improve your mechanics due to its repetition and range of courses, all right? All right, so get this down, jot this down, whatever you gotta do. This map is none other than Raider Box Fight Practice Map. This map is built on the idea that repetition makes perfect. There are a number of different building, editing, and aiming techniques in this map, which is gonna help you guys improve your mechanics of Fortnite. Super important. One honorable mention in this map is the Mongrel Classic. This is a bunch of different walls that you have to break in a row with the bot on the other side. All right, take the wall, edit it, place a ramp, edit the ramp, and then you go for the shot. Boom, there it goes. Once you're comfortable with this move, switch it up a bit, place a cone instead of a ramp, and you know, do a different wall edit. The more ways you practice, the better. The chances you really are are gonna have success online. And it's not always going to be just like a one shoe, fits all type of thing. But don't move from the classic until you have it down. Our next tip is one a lot of players may not have considered about Fortnite. So a lot of players don't understand how much of a mental game Fortnite actually is. You know the saying, a picture paints a thousand words? Well, that's exactly what Fortnite is like, yeah. If you come across a player who runs away when you shoot at them, instantly boxes up or even tries to avoid fighting you entirely, then these are all signs that they're not really a good player. Obviously, sometimes we could be wrong and maybe they're like Booga 2.0, but let's be real. A lot of the time you think they're bad because they actually are. Now, this isn't something that you want to give off when in games, you know, you don't be overconfident. If you do show any signs of a bad player, you are going to get punished for it. High level W keyers like Unknown Army look for these signs and if they see it, they're not going to hold anything back. It's a wrap. So how do you avoid this? Well, first, you need to appear confident. Now, this doesn't mean we want you to go into your next game blindly, like W King opponents, to show that you're so good and you're so amazing and you're so confident, and then you know you get sent back to the lobby immediately. No, this really comes down to your awareness in Fortnite. You wanna be the one taking the first initial shots. And if you do, that's gonna be the difference in who's boxing up and trying to avoid fighting. Once you do land those initial shots, that's when the mental warfare begins and you get inside of your opponent's head, making them nervous. So the goal here, and I mean like right here, is to get them choking shots, builds, 
edits, I mean, you name it, man. In the end, for you guys to get over this mental warfare and for it not to affect you, you need to be in this situation probably a thousand times. Now, I know it's not the easy answer that you're looking for, and we're being honest, 1,000 times is over the top probably, but I think you get my point, man. Like, you just have to be in that situation. For you to choke less in high stress situations, then you gotta be in those same situations every single day. And then that's what's really gonna help you guys remain calm and really think methodically, you know, and just really get out of a bad spot. That takes us into our next point, which is awkward fights. Awkward fighting is situations which are not the norm. You know, where you are placed in a position which feels unnatural, but you need to overcome it, okay? This is very common in season three because there are completely new areas of the map and now the majority of the map is surrounded by water. Epic Games knew what they were doing and they've made it possible to build on water no matter how deep it actually is. This is a massive change as before, you could get caught out swimming and you wouldn't be able to build to protect yourself in previous seasons. Still though, fighting on top of water can be difficult as well because you can get trapped underneath your own builds in the water. So practicing aqua edits is going to be really, really, really important, man, to help you guys out in these situations. Now, we do have a map that we recommend for awkward edits. You guys ready? All right, it's one that you've already seen, Raiders Box Fight Practice Map. You know, if there was an award for a creative map that has it all, then this map would definitely win. There are sections in this map for practicing awkward edits. Okay, you start at the beginning of whatever course that you wanna try out, right? There are boosters that send you forward and you are tucked up against the wall or whatever build piece the course is getting you to practice. Doing these edits over and over, it's gonna help your muscle memory for these tight situations you're placed in. Trust me when I say this, man, like it's more common than you think. How many times have you been in a box with an opponent and needed to get out quick, but it's an awkward angle? The more and more that you practice this, the better the outcome you're gonna be when you're in those situations. All right, guys, so a final point again, before we move on from this tip, is that you can also practice these edits when free building. Okay, so a lot of people like myself struggle with the top corner edit, also known as the peanut butter edit. I don't know why, but it just feels unnatural compared to any other edit, right? That's why in free building, you know, I'll make it a point to continually do the same edit over and over again, just to make sure I practice it at that very angle. Trust me, guys, like this is gonna help you over time. Let's talk about our final tip, which is constructive research. Woo! Our last tip on improving your mechanics is doing constructive research. If you're like me, you like to watch you know, a lot of Fortnite content, from guides to improve your gameplay, from top tier players, you know, there's just a lot of content out there. And what we mean by constructive research is watching pro players and picking up tips from them, right? Pro players try to stay up to date with the latest techniques to be on top of their game at all times. So watching and picking up the tips from them, it's a must. I'm gonna give you guys a good example, okay? So here at Pro Guys, we were watching Mr. Savage, the EU legend, all right? And we noticed something very interesting that he would do every now and then. When Mr. Savage is fighting, now, this could be a full-on build battle, or it could be a guy he's tagged who is just far away. While building toward the opponent, he would just press his edit key on the stairs. Now, he wouldn't actually complete an edit. He would just use the edit to gain information. When you're editing a stair piece, you can actually see through it, right? So Mr. Savage would just scout and he would gain information while in a fight by editing his stair. The reason he would do this is because he's effectively planning on how to win the fight. There's a reason they call this guy Mr. 200 IQ. These little tips that you can pick up from a pro player can make a massive difference, man. There's been a handful of times this trick has helped us out. So feel free to try this one for yourself. All right, so these are the things that we want you to look out for when watching pro players. Don't just watch them, analyze them. And you're gonna notice these things that they do. And I promise, man, you're gonna improve yourself. We here at Pro Guys, listen, we're a family, period. And we really look out for one another. We really, really do. So take two minutes out of your day and post a tip in the comments that you have that maybe you picked up off of a pro player and just help someone else out in our community, all right? If you guys think it's an obvious one, you know, post it below. A lot of people may have never thought about editing a stare to gain information. And so we're just here to help each other out. Let's do it. All right, my friends, let's go over a quick recap to make sure that you've observed all the information in the video to start improving today. Here we go. Your first steps will be finding a new technique you like and want to learn. Write it down and timestamp it. Then understand why the move is good and when to implement it. Really important for you to understand what really makes the move work. 
Once you're ready to attempt it, okay, practice this with repetition. Keep doing it over and over again. You wanna practice slow and just self-correct as you guys go along and just slowly increase your speeds, okay? This game, my friends, is all about getting your opponent nervous and winning the fight mentally before actually winning the fight. Don't appear to be confident as it shows and good players are gonna take advantage of that. The more practice that you put into awkward edits like the peanut butter edit or ones where you're at an awkward angle, the more that you're actually gonna improve once you're placed in these same situations. Analyzing pro player videos and streams and looking for techniques that, that you can implement into your own game, super important. Pro players are gonna stay up to date with the latest moves, so do yourself a favor and pay attention. When watching pro players analyze their moves and little techniques that they have. Because pro players are always creating and they're always perfecting new moves, so watching them and just picking it up means that you're going to be up to date. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, the one who believes in you, the one who's rooting for you, the one man that says, when you fall down, get back up. I don't care what's before you guys, man, break through it, man. This is your season. This is your year of breakthrough. So, man, you guys kill it, man. Keep going. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. If you've watched to the very end, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Please slap a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, man, let us know, you know, which uh, tips you picked up from some of the pro players. All right, we'll see you soon. Peace.